The Chancellor's signal is coming from the observation plan. <laughs> uh, all collectibles for out for the count. The first level in Revenge of the Sith. Do it. Now from the front door, if you switch to a villain, you'll notice the silver door on your left. Blow it up with a grenade and you'll access a new room. Now, don't do as I did and beat this droid up. He is your friend. If you walk through and just dispatch the droids opposite you, it'll save you a little bit of a hassle, but it's not necessary. If you instead go back and use the protocol droid panel and select droid, you'll make a new friend, which will be challenge number one. If you go to the opposite room where you've just massacred the droids, you can destroy some debris and build your first mini kit. If you leave this room and turn left, you'll find an astromech panel through these doors. Now once you unlock this panel, the door will open and you'll find a holographic mini kit. However, it's a trap. Once you're inside the force field, you'll need to use the force to pull down three levers. Doing so will unlock the force field and open this box which will give you your second mini kit. From this room you'll encounter a laser grid. Now, if you use this box, put it next to the laser grid, you can use it to jump over the flashing lasers at the top. Don't do as I did and blow yourself up. Twice. If you turn to the next door, you'll find a mini kit hidden behind some debris in the corner. Now, I played this level twice, once for story and once for free play. So, when I returned in free play, I noticed that the mini kit was still showing up in the corner. I did the same thing, put the box next to the laser grid and jumped over the top ones that were flashing. Strangely enough, the mini kit was there again, and it counted again. So technically, I have six mini kits in this level. Very strange. Once you're in this area with the droidiger and the spill on the floor, if you switch to a scoundrel and aim to your right, you'll find this scoundrel spot, which will unleash an electric trap and kill the droidiger. Completing challenge number three. Through the main progression of the level, you'll come through this little room. If you switch to a villain and blow up this silver crate, you can build a lever for the table in the center. Pushing the lever will unlock a room to your right. If you use the protocol droid panel, you have three options.
If you choose the third option, you'll unlock a remote control droidiger. Now, what you need to do for this is pull up here and kill any enemy within this area using the droidiger. Unfortunately, I had wiped out a lot of the enemies already, so this was a lot tougher than it had to be. I had to go around into the main area myself and melee a droid to get this challenge done. If you instead use the alarm, you'll unlock a room behind you. That room has two magna guards and your fourth mini kit. Isn't this Let's make it quick. I'm very busy. What you need to do for your fifth and final mini kit is if you go to the same area where your droidica has just been you'll find a door to be cut open with a lightsaber. Once you break through, you'll find a statue of General Grievous. If you place the four lightsabers found around the room in his hands, you'll unlock your final mini kit. Now as you can see there was no physical mini kit for me to collect, instead a replacement purple stud, that was because of the duplicate mini kit that I mentioned earlier, typically a mini kit would spawn in here. The true Jedi requirement for this level is 40,000 studs and collecting all 5 mini kits will get you the Jedi Interceptor Micro.